but with the hint, just a hint of the maple syrup. It just balances it out really well. Okay, you guys, we are doing another sheet pan chicken, but this is just chicken without adding vegetables and stuff like that. But if you guys found a vegetable that you wanted to add to it, I, I, that would be perfectly fine too. This is kind of a new in, uh, recipe. It's kind of a fallish type of chicken thing. And so what I did was I ground, I uh, used my food processor, and this is cranberries. Let me get my notes. Fresh cranberries, olive oil, uh, just a hint of maple syrup, a little bit of garlic, rosemary, and white wine. And so this is our marinade for chicken thighs. You can use, add a little bit more marinade if you have more than four chicken thighs. I only did four. And so these have been marinating at least for 30 minutes or you can go up to 24 hours. It doesn't have that much acidity except for the white wine, but also the tartness of the cranberries will also help with marinating your chicken. So we don't exactly want all this. Unless you really want a great sauce, you could do this and put it over some kind of potatoes or mashed potatoes or something like that so it's really up to you but uh we're not going to do that so we're just going to wipe it off and look at that isn't that cute it turns your chicken red or pink <laughs> this is kind of a new recipe um it's a lighter chicken recipe but i think it's good i think it's great for fall i think it's very versatile and then all you do here is just drizzle a little bit of salt not drizzle sprinkle a little bit of salt so we got this we're just going to sprinkle some salt on your chicken that'll create some flavor we're just going to sprinkle some cran cranberries in here they'll create the juice as well sprinkle some of this rosemary over here that'll add some really great flavor as well and the one thing i forgot to do prior is believe it or not we are going to brush on a little bit of maple syrup i know isn't that kind of funny and the funny thing is it's not like it turns your chicken really sweet or anything but with all the tartness of all of this it'll just elevate the flavor just a little bit and we're going to cook these for about 25 minutes and then to get that nice golden brown skin on your chicken, we are gonna put it underneath the broiler a little bit. You guys don't realize how full my sink is getting with all the dishes here, but that's okay. Cause that's for me to deal with later. Okay, so here's our cheap pan chicken with cranberry and rosemary. We're gonna put it in the oven, 375. We're going to put it in the oven for about um, 25 minutes. And then we're going to stick it underneath the broiler for another three minutes or so until the skin kind of gets all crispy and toasty. Okay, I will see you guys back here in about 25 minutes. I'll show you what it looks like before we broil it. Okay, I told you guys that I would be back, right? Ha ha ha! And I am in my little kitchen. Well, I took out the chicken, but I want the skin part to be a little brown. So this is pure maple syrup that I got sent to me after I did a speaking engagement all the way in National Syrup Festival. So that was a really fun speaking engagement to do, but I still have some of the pure maple syrup and the one reason I like it it is caramel like it's not overly sweet it's um, it's light um, it's just really good but anyway I'm just gonna brush on a little bit here and I've got my broiler going this is only gonna take a few moments just enough to give that nice little crisp crispness crispiness yes crispiness to the chicken. 
So you just need a few little dabs. So let's stick it in the broiler oven. Or let's stick it in the oven under the broiler. So, about five minutes. I'll see you again. Okay, so let's get the chicken out. But this is what it is. It is sheet pan chicken with cranberry and rosemary. So, it's a little hot, but I so want to taste it because, you know, come on. Get my fork out. I'll take this little piece here. Let me get some of the cranberries. So, what I think this is going to be definitely a little tart, but I'm hoping juicy. Okay. And the one thing I think that makes this good too when you broil it, the skin can be a little crunchy, but also it keeps in all the juices and the chicken moist. So let me see here. Oh yeah, look at that, little cranberry. I have to blow on it because it is a little hot, you guys. Mm. Definitely when you bite in the cranberries, it's a little tart, but with the hint, just a hint of the maple syrup, it just balances it out really well. In fact, I would probably serve this with wild rice, not just regular white rice or something like that. I would probably serve this with wild rice and maybe, um, maybe some Brussels sprouts or green beans or or even just a green salad, whatever green thing you like. And you just have a hint of the rosemary. I probably did not add enough sprigs, but I would probably add a sprig of rosemary for each chicken so that you get some of that more um, earthy herb going on there, balancing out just the hint of the sweetness from the maple syrup. But, and then you get this burst of this tart cranberry. I think it's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, with that, chic pan chicken with cranberry and rosemary. I really hope you guys give this a try because basically this was a really, really easy restaurant. Uh, this was a really, really easy recipe to make. And with the hint of the uh, cranberries and a little bit of the maple syrup, it definitely reminds me of fall. So, anyway, give it a try. Oh, by the way. Check out Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen on my YouTube channel because you can find this recipe, all of the other recipes over at Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen YouTube channel or at .com. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm really working on with my team to incorporate some other things when you do subscribe. A Q&A, a cooking with Amy, just a whole bunch of, bunch of stuff that we're gonna try and and I uh, appreciate you guys for following me and all this other stuff. But anyway, give this one a try. Till next time, I hope you have fun in your kitchen, because I know I am. <laughs>